how did we meet? Uh, we went to college at Wichita State University and both lived in the dorms there. Well, a blind date. In junior college and uh, we I went to church. Oh, it was a blind date. Yes. It took three years. That we met at Cloud County Community College. She was in a she was in the same biology class I was at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, no, we will have been married twenty seven years next well, not next month, in May, at the end of May. Twenty seven years. Mm -hmm. Fifty five years. Fifty three years. We will be married 29 years in May. Well, he'll say 60 years, but it's not that long. Really. Not, under, <laughs> not under 60 years or something like that. It'll be 41 uh, June 4th. We don't have any kids. We didn't raise goats. We raised children. We have two boys. We each have one and a half. <laughs> that makes three. Uh, it's Penelope, Lulu, and Bucyrus. <laughs> or Victoria, well, Olivia, and Will. So, yes, two, both boys, and one grandson. Mm -hmm. three, we have three, three daughters. Three daughters. We have we have five children. Oh, let's see. That would start with Arden. How old is she? Twenty-four. Twenty-four, and she's in Manhattan. Jordan is twenty, two. just turned twenty-two and he is here in Topeka. And then we have Isaac 11, Willa 8, going on 40, and Zakari, she's four. Continually working on communication. communication. Yeah, which is just hard. I think it's hard for everybody, so, but, you know, when to say something and when not to say something. Right. Continually a challenge, so. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Making sure we connect with each other on our schedules, I think. Sometimes we go ahead and make plans and then realize we're overstepping or not communicating right. So. <laughs> and that happens. It's so easy when you're involved in getting things done. And so that, that transpires. That has probably been one of our, just knowing what the other one's committed to and not ask them. And that's, that's probably my biggest problem. I just keep on going. It's, uh, and this is continuous, is communication. Because uh, as we've both grown and uh, developed, uh, it's more than just words. Uh, it is uh, uh, an ability to have a shared meaning about all things. And that it requires constant attention, and uh, you pay attention to uh, what the other person is feeling and thinking, and making sure you understand it. Ask questions if you don't understand, and be willing to answer those questions. So, I think that's what, mm -hmm. yeah, we work on all the time. Communication. I think unselfishness. Um, we, we. I think as, as people, as humans, we we are selfish people and, and always taking somebody else's um, opinion, somebody else's just fact that they're there with you into account at the same time. You can't make a decision for yourself when you're married. You have to make a decision for the couple. And so I think that's one of the biggest things I've had to work on. Um, well, that and communication. Sometimes... Um, years ago we did a study with love languages and we definitely speak completely different love languages and so that means that we feel those um, things differently too so um, communication and understanding how to talk to each other and how to read each other stubbornness <laughs> both sides both sides I think when you um, marry you have to to give up a lot of yourself and you have to think of the other person and when you've been living by yourself and doing whatever you want and and just doing your own thing it takes a lot of work to give up your self pride and and to give up your bullheadedness about I'm gonna do it my way 
because we need to work together. Yeah, really though, when you're in love, you really don't worry about it. Because when you're in love and you have God with you, then you just overlook things like that. They just, they just pass by and you go on.